618 on Thursday morning, a beautiful one, as you can see looking north uh, from the Intermountain Camera across Salt Lake Valley. Uh, luckily, pollen count not quite as high as it was earlier this week. Grass is at a moderate level. At last report, everything else is low. We're clearing off in the west. Still some clouds lingering in eastern Utah with a few showers over the Uintas, but uh, the big story today will continue to be the temperature. It's 64 in Salt Lake with a breeze west seven miles per hour. Overall, we're ranging from low 40s in Ely to 77 in St. George, but most valleys are in the 50s and 60s. Now we've got that weak disturbance sliding through that's bringing the showers to the northeast this morning, but high pressure will continue to build in from the southwest, and that is going to help the temperature climb well above average again today. In fact, all the way up to 92 this afternoon. So not quite into record territory, but starting to feel more like summer than springtime. Partly cloudy in the north, sunny in the south. Temperature in St. George will be 102 degrees. And with it being as hot as it is over the next couple of days, an excessive heat warning in effect for uh, Washington County from noon tomorrow until uh, Saturday evening. So make sure you're taking a lot of breaks and drinking plenty of water. Temperature is going to continue to climb. It looks like you'll peak at 105 on Saturday and only be dropping down into the low to mid 70s. That's part of why uh, heat related illness is such a big concern. Not much of relief even in the morning hours. Luckily, Mother Nature gives us a break by Monday. A cold front will come in and while it will stay dry in the south, your temperature in St. George will be dropping down into the mid 90s by then. In Salt Lake City, it'll be sunny and warming up into the mid 90s tomorrow. We'll keep going. Saturday will peak at 97 near record heat at the beginning of the weekend. It stays hot on Sunday, but big changes by Monday. A strong cold front will move through and that'll knock the temperature down uh, more than 20 degrees lower than what we're expecting over the weekend. So if you don't like the hot weather, it doesn't stick around very long. And we'll get a good chance of showers on Monday with the possibility of some isolated thunderstorms.